Hello once again everyone, it's Ryan from Green Tech Network. I recently purchased the new Raspberry Pi 3, uh, or not so new, it's been out for a few months now. Um, however, I have been a big fan of the original Raspberry Pi. Uh, I never ended up buying the Raspberry Pi 2. I'm um, planning on buying the Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, however, I'm just starting to get back into messing around with them. So I bought a starter kit from a company called uh, Viaboot. I guess that's how I pronounce it. Viaboot. Not exactly sure the pronunciation. But it was on eBay for $49.99. So basically $50. Um, and they have a bunch of different options you can choose when you uh, check out. But this starter kit came with uh, the Raspberry Pi 3, obviously. Um, a red and white official case, which I assume is made by the um, uh, same company that makes a Raspberry Pi, since it's official. Uh, a 2.5 amp, excuse me, 5 volt uh, power supply. Has a little uh, micro USB port there. Um, an introduction little booklet, which um, I probably won't need, but still definitely uh, helpful for people who are getting into it. And uh, it also came with a uh, two little heat sinks, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about the Raspberry Pi 3 a bit. So I'm coming from the Raspberry Pi 1, which I believe had a single core 700 megahertz processor and I think half a gigahertz. RAM. So this is the new Raspberry Pi 3, which is quite an upgrade from the original. Not a huge upgrade with, between the Raspberry Pi 2 and the Raspberry Pi 3, um, but a massive upgrade between um, 1 and 3. So what you're looking at here is the Raspberry Pi 3 itself. This has uh, four USB ports, um, standard uh, Ethernet connection. You have your um, uh, 3.5 millimeter audio, and I believe they also have built-in uh, video in this as well. So you can it, it, it'll export video and sound through this, and then you can um, split it up using one of those old school. Um, 3.5 millimeter splitters that breaks it up into your video as well, which obviously isn't um, wouldn't be uh, 1080p or anything like that. It would just probably be uh, some low end like VGA resolution equivalent. Uh, your standard HDMI, full HDMI port, um, the micro USB for power, obviously. Um, your pins, uh, GPIO pins um, for all of your any external things you connect to it. And then the micro SD cards here in the bottom, which um, this is also another, I guess, large upgrade from the Raspberry Pi One is that the Raspberry Pi One had a um, standard SD card, whereas this was a micro, which is a little bit smaller. So this does seem to be a little bit more compact than the Raspberry Pi One, at least from what I remember. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over some of the specs on the Raspberry Pi Three. So it has a 1.2 gigahertz quad-core processor. It's a 64-bit, which is um, definitely nice for new operating systems and uh, new software. And it's based off of the uh, ARM Cortex-A53 processor. So you can look that up online if you want to know more about you know the in-depth specs of the processor. It has one gigabyte of RAM, which is uh, pretty impressive, at 900 megahertz. And in addition to that, like I said, it tends to use up to 2.5 amps at 5 volts DC um, through the micro USB port instead of you know the standard. I think it was 700 milliamps or maybe 800 milliamps that the uh, Raspberry Pi One used. So if you look on the Wikipedia page for the Raspberry Pi Three, you can see that it has the power rating at 800 milliamps. Um, which that might be idle, I'm pretty sure, because I know for a fact that these things will consume quite a bit of power when they're running at 100% um, CPU utilization. Um, and they, some of them actually have uh, cooling problems. They can reach up to like 100 degrees Celsius just uh, if there's no heat sink involved. So luckily I do have those heat sinks. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the, the quick overview of the Raspberry Pi 3. And along with obviously um, via via boot via boots uh, starting package, 
I'm definitely going to be releasing some more fun videos in the future with my Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more.